Irish missionaries have a long tradition stretching back over generations. For decades, Father Shea Cullen from Dunleary has been working with trafficking and abuse victims in the Philippines. Many of these children here, they're victims of human trafficking. They've been uh, victimized. The youngest we have here is just uh, six years old. Sister Julie is a Korean member of the Columban Sisters, whose mother house is in County Wicklow. Tell me about the cemetery here. It's really, really high. 2,000 people. And they live in the cemetery? Yes, they cannot go out because no money. So they simply live among the graves? Yes, among the graves, among the dead people. 500 miles away on the island of Cebu, Sister Evelyn Flanagan runs a project for the Baju, one of the most deprived people on the planet. The Baju are originally sea gypsies that roamed the seas in the archipelago of Southeast Asia. They have absolutely nothing. They have been discriminated against all their lives. On the island of Jeju, Father Pat Cunningham joins the local community protesting against the building of a new naval base. I think we're walking in the footsteps of Jesus himself and his spirit of non-violent resistance. That is my missionary call here in this year, 2015. We need to be with the people on the streets. Last year, over 300 young people lost their lives in a ferry disaster. Their families are still asking questions. Standing with them are the Irish missionaries. Their children actually died needlessly that night. So we are just here to support them. I think that Irish people should be discerning in how they support missions. See what's going on in the world. What would I like to be part of?